In this video, we're going to have a look at a semi-advanced use case, where we synchronize the drop-down menu from Jira to a custom text field within Azure DevOps. Just take a quick look at what I'm talking about. We'll use the field SF account from Jira, which has drop-down values. And we want to synchronize it to this freeform text field called UD text on Azure DevOps. Now, this is a classic place where the visual interface will need to be augmented with the scripts in order to put this into action. Because what we are trying to do is different on both ends. Let's start by going to our visual connection and creating a rule. Obviously, we don't have a mapping for the user-defined fields on both sides. So we'll create a rule, but we'll have to create it by adding scripts. So, let's uncomment line number two. My receiving party will be Azure, whereas my sending party is Jira. So essentially what I'm saying is, assign the Jira custom field to the Azure side. The name of the field on the Jira side is SF account, and we need the value of that field. We'll assign it to the Azure field called UD text, and that should do. Now, this is something that is not possible to do within the visual mode, so we added a script. Let's save our script and publish the connection. Once this is published, we're ready to test this. Give it a few seconds to publish. All right, my script has been successfully published, and now I can check it quickly. On the Azure DevOps side, the UD text field is empty at the moment. So I'm going to change the SF account value and pick a value. This value should synchronize over to the UD text field on the Azure DevOps side. Let's wait a few seconds for the synchronization to take effect. And sure enough, the value will appear. Of course, we can change the value to some other, and whatever dropdown value we choose on the Jira side should automatically reflect on the Azure DevOps end. Just give it a few seconds, and there it is. So what we've done is that we've synchronized a custom select list from the Jira side to a user-defined text field within the Azure DevOps, and we did it in the visual connection by adding script.